Riaz Khan was part of a notorious football gang, but while some hooligans were racist, here they celebrated difference. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, walaikum uh, salam. That's me showing off one of two things I can say in Arabic. But if I can oppress Riaz with my knowledge of Islam, that will finally justify studying it at uni for two weeks. The one other thing I can say is the Islamic declaration of faith, which sometimes when I say it to Muslim guys, they really like me after. Um, <laughs> La ilaha illa ala Muhammad Rasulullah. Wow, that's good tajwid. That's good pronunciation. Well done. Shukran Siddiqui. Oh. That was a good start. So, you say you're good at pool. <laughs> <laughs> Riaz is now a devoutly religious family man, but then he hardly fitted the hooligan stereotype in the first place. I don't like the term hooligan because that means like you're some mindless thug that goes around smashing the place up. I like to be called a casual or a trendy. Being a young agent, I always wanted to belong, and I saw a group of lads walking past me, and they were led by a black lad, and they were really well dressed. I mean, they're. In those days, the clothes were like golfing gear and tennis gear, you know? And I thought, wow, these guys look, they're dog's bollocks. The look that was the dog's bollocks was called casual, and it was about to change Riaz's life. Next thing I know, some lad came up to me in the shopping mall and said, you're dressed like a football casual. I goes, am I? And you were like, no, this is just a look. It's that just I'm a fashion, yeah. He goes, no, no, that's a casual look. You can't uh, dress like that unless you go to the football. Then he goes, look, we've got a big game on Saturday. It's against Birmingham, loads of black lads, Zulu warriors. And I thought, what? Really? A gang of black lads with white lads. First match I went to, I didn't even get to it. I got arrested. So. Now, how did you get arrested just for looking fabulous? <laughs> Riaz spent the next six years stylishly following Leicester City up and down the country. His gang was about as far from the stereotype of white skinhead hooligans as you can get. This assimilated you more into British culture than anything else. You belong to something, don't you? It's yeah. a belonging. People look at you, not for your colour, you think, oh, he's one of the lads. Better than any think tank, better than any politician, any religious leader, any pop star. Because we was one of the lads, we broke down loads of racial barriers in Leicester. We're not a melting pot, we're like mm. a salad bowl. With the tomatoes, the lettuces, the cucumbers and the onions, all have different flavours, but all live together. Mm -hmm. Whereas a melting pot, everybody's the same. At times, it was against the law, but against the odds, Riaz had found his spot in the salad bowl of Leicester. Our life was this football, dressing up for that day, looking the part that day. But if you overdid it, you look like a div. Did you not just feel bad when you got blood all over your nice yeah. clothes? I got smashed on the head by a skinhead. You see a scar there? I do. And I had an Armani jumper on, like a brown badge yeah, one. I, I had blood all over and I was wounded because I just got it. I was like, oh, and I had to put it in the washing machine and it shrank. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's when I saw that you were like ultraviolent and yet still couldn't whack the washing machine <laughs> at a basic level. I saw red. Mm -hmm. Don't forget I was like 18, 19. I was an idiot, you know what I mean? And uh, all I can remember him screaming when I was doing it. And I didn't care. I just didn't care. I don't know what was wrong with me then. Riaz was sent to prison for eight months. But the real wake-up call was a knock at the door. You know you get Jehovah's Witness knocking on your door? Yeah. I had a Muslim version of that knocking on my door. Oh, I didn't know there was a door-to-door -door <laughs> yeah. thing. Wasn't it? It's like, let's go and get that Muslim there because he's a naughty one. <laughs> so right. knocking the door. I let him in, then he started preaching to me. But the way he preached to me wasn't like, you're going to go to hell, you're going to yeah. burn with the rest of the people, and, you know, now you get it. And he just sort of said nice things, and I thought, OK, yeah, OK, you're making sense there. All right, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll... And I read the Quran and read it in two days, and that's when I changed, boom, like that. It was just like... A newborn baby. It just changed my life. So Riaz's story has a happy ending. He got a good education, got a job, a family, and even wrote a book about his hooligan days. But dressing sharply is still a big part of his life, which makes me think about something he said. You had to look the part. Yeah. But if you overdid it, you look like a div. Now there's one div that I know who could use a few style tips, so I want to introduce him to Riaz. Let's go there and I'll kit you up. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. go. <laughs> I hope Riaz likes a challenge. So which one of these do you think no, is it? No, no. Listen, you need to buy a pair of trainers. You need to get rid of those. What's wrong start. with the... <laughs> Tell him about those it. Twinkle Pinkles, whatever they're called. Twinkle, they're not, yeah. what they're, called. they're actually brogues, but this probably isn't the time to quibble. You start with CP. It's been reduced from 525 to 445. I might be able to get a discount. I feel like the arm of a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, oh, yeah, you look, fat, look Nice length as well. Yeah, get them on. You'll be bouncing in a minute. Go, come on, then, let's have it. Put I don't want to on. have it. <laughs> come on, let's have it. No, look I, at I, you. I'm not you look sure cool. About... I don't feel cool. 
Uh, they look cool, aren't they? Suits. Look, look in the mirror. Look, yeah. Can you wear a hat? I don't. I look like a Michelin man playing for Razor Light. Football casual look is officially not for me. Time to slip back into my usual smart casual look. Riaz. Yes, Ivor. The, the jeans have actually got stuck as I've taken them off. You what? They're too tight. They're too skinny. Jeans are stuck on his legs. I think you're going to have to cut me out of these. Riaz. Ivo seems to have mistaken Riaz for his nanny. Time for a sharp exit, because we don't want blood spilt on the clothes. Fern. Darren. I'm trapped in £210 worth of trousers.